What's up guys, Dark Dally here. I'm continuing my series on import-export in GTA Online. Showing all the ways to get the cars as easily as possible. I'm pretty sure we figured out, you know, the easiest ways to do it after 300 some cars now. And so I decided to make this video series showing how to do it. Some are pretty self-explanatory, like the one in my previous video, which was simple as kill some cops and call Lester and drive away with zero damage. This one, well, we'll see. So we got an FMJ. So let's go see what mission we get. And I actually did not mean to go to my garage just there. I meant to go outside. So whatever it is, I'm going to show you how to do it the way we do it which should be the easiest way possible. As I've said before, we have found some pretty creative ways to do some of these. Sometimes, I used to actually exit to my garage on purpose. I used to go to my garage because sometimes I'd want a car. Details should be with you on this car. Okay. It's parked at that location. Okay, good. I got one of these. Okay, so there's like... Mm, let's go ahead and get a car just in case we need one. Um, so when she says the car is parked at that location, or it's there and waiting for you, you know, or whatever, there's there's uh, like four different things she says. There's several kinds of these, and you need to be careful because it's usually not just parked at that location. Okay, so there's parked at that location, where it's actually parked there and actually no one chases you. There's one where you get there and there's an entourage of bodyguards. There's one you, where you get there and, as we call it, it's a bomb car, you know, like the movie Speed, just don't drop below 50 miles an hour and it won't blow up. And then there's the police chase, and God forbid it's that one. So the first thing you do is look at the map and see where the car is at. Okay, so it's actually parked. You can tell before you start if it's a, if it's going to be a police pursuit, because the car will be sitting in the middle of the road, right... Mm, where's it at? I think it's like right here. No, it's right here. He'll be sitting in the middle of the road right there, or it's up here somewhere like right here and there's also I think one in the city you can always tell if it's the police pursuit because the car will be in the middle of the road so if you look at the map as we did and we can see clearly that it's parked sometimes I approach these in the Karuma like I am now sometimes the helicopter if you fly up in the heli in a helicopter what I do is as I approach I have my missile lock on I have my missile missile selected I should say so that I can see ahead of time if it's locking on the targets, and that way I know to go ahead and land, and I'm going to have to take out the personal entourage on foot. By approaching the Kuruma, I don't know ahead of time until I get there, but we're in a Kuruma, so there's not much that they can do. Let's go find out. It is nice, although rare, when the car is actually legitimately just parked there like she says. And that's kind of the running joke with us is when she calls you and says, the car is parked and waiting for you, we laugh and like, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. So let's see what we got. The car is actually parked and waiting for us. There's no guys in black waiting to shoot us. Okay, so this means one of two things. Either it's, as we call it, a miracle car. <laughs> Or it's going to be a bomb car. So if you get there and the car is actually just parked here like this, what I do is I go ahead and set a waypoint for the warehouse. Because if it is a bomb car, there won't be a waypoint to the warehouse. And so I go ahead and set one. So that way you may as well be driving back to the warehouse while you're waiting for the bomb to tick down. But let's not jump to conclusions. It could just be as simple as getting in the car and driving it. It's a bomb car. Great. Okay, so what this means is... We can't go below, once it activates, we can't go below 56 miles an hour, or it will start a 10 second countdown before it blows up. I've never had one blow up, it's really easy. What you do is you just, since we have our waypoint set to the warehouse, we just watch our little bar down there in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, and try to keep it barely fast enough, because we want to buy as much time as possible. Do make sure you build some speed before you take turns, so that you can start each turn with a fresh cooldown, and then just get it back up, and you just want to keep it just like this. You want to go as slow as possible. It's pretty obvious. It's because, yeah, you want to buy time to get there. If you get there before the bomb has been defused, notice the two-minute countdown timer. If you get there before the bomb is defused, there won't be any way to turn the vehicle in. You'll have to do laps around the block. 
if you time it just right, because you see the global signal for the GPS doesn't go off until three seconds after the bomb's diffused. I have, and you can, time it so that you get there and actually can turn the car in before the global signal even goes off. Now I am, as usual, just playing with friends, so there's no one who's going to be shooting at me. I would personally, I'm not a PvP person, I wouldn't do this on an actual public session, no thanks. I have done car running on public servers, it's not my th public sessions, sorry, it's not my thing, you know, whatever. Alright, so we got 40 seconds left, we're right down the street from the warehouse. So I'm going to go ahead and circle the block a little bit, going this way. Just You can circle this block right here, that goes over the freeway and back pretty easily allowing you to speed up to 56 miles an hour after each turn. And just, yeah, let it beep each time. Try not to let that happen. Okay, and that car kind of diverted our path a little bit. All right, we're good. Just gotta let this six seconds cool down, five seconds. Okay. Now we can go ahead, we can turn around, and we can take this to the warehouse. When I first got this, the first time I ever drove a bomb car, as we say, it was a little nerve-wracking. But once you realize that if you do slow down, there's like that 10-second timer, it's really one of the easiest ones. I've never actually had one blow up, so that's all there is to that. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to subscribe for more content on the games I play right now. Grand Theft Auto, Fallout 4. Um, there'll be some other stuff coming up too. We'll just have to see. Alright guys, my name has been Dark Dally. Thank you for watching. I will catch you guys next time.